Huh? <laughs> Can you say that again? No, it's so long. Gave you the evil eye. What? Can you say that again? Because I said this looks better because it starts as in the 30th century, right? It's supposed to look more futuristic. Okay, I said it needs to look more futuristic because it looks like somebody from the year 2024 is trying to imagine what the year 29 whatever is going to look like. But that's what basically it is. It's not. It's got to be more. If that's the only progression we made in a thousand years. Wait, wait. 29. 100 years. A 900. No, is it, is it? What is? What year is this? It's not 29, 35? 30 something. Right now it's 2000. And that's the only progression we made? Yeah. The only progression we made is being able to collect metal and have a spacesuit to breathe outside of our environment. <laughs> <laughs> no adaptable abilities like gills or something. I don't know. No hybrid humans. You know what I mean? But I like the hair color now much better. I can make a game now and make that hair color. You can walk, go out, walk outside. You'll see people with that hair color. Yeah, that's. I saw a guy with that hair color today. He was helping us bag our groceries. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that exciting. I told him I like your hair. I mean, <laughs> and he smiled. Okay, it's it fine. It was pink curly hair. Fine. I, I'm going to do my video. Now. This cannot be that futuristic. Come on. And there's okay. the bacon planet. <laughs> no, I'm not choosing bacon planet. I'm choosing... <laughs> if people hear this commentary, I feel like they would laugh. Well, I'm recording now. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, shit. Not... <laughs> this is not consent. You did not give me consent to this. <gasps> well, you, you're chatting with me about Star Citizen. But you so... did not consent to me saying this stuff you're far from the mic probably people don't hear you we'll see that's also true because you know what we were recording the thingy yesterday and you kept putting the mic towards you so my, <laughs> <laughs> my oh the sounds... splitter came check downstairs why don't you check downstairs i'm recording i'm recording you ordered it oh, okay fine I... <laughs> this is marriage <laughs> i'm gonna cut that part off <laughs> Unless you want to can edit I, the video. Can maybe. I? No, you can do whatever you want. This is your channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... How many stairs? Then why don't you go? <laughs> no, why is uh, infinite loading? What the? Uh-oh. What? It's gonna crash? No, it's just infinite loading again. Uh, try again. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. From today on, we are going to check out the new features of what 3.23 brings in the EPTU as detailed as I can. One of the new small little detail written in one of the patch notes is this. Updated 400i Sulin, Halsey, and Carrick external elevator panels to new standard. And I am very curious about what this new standard is. So in this video, let's check that out together. So let's start with the uh, Origin 400i. What? What is this? What's happening with my 400i? What's wrong here? Okay, external elevator panels to new standard. I think this these are elevator panels, right? They, they look the same. Okay, so open these. Oh. Okay, and where is the, oh, I, I don't think uh, this one has a panel can send you up. It's just, you just have to click this one right here. So it will close and send you up. Oh, I better not lock myself in here. Uh, maybe this is the panel to send me down. Wait, no way. I just locked myself in here. No. <laughs> I remember before there is a button you can click. It will send you down. They removed it? This is kind of stupid. You, 
Ah, this is not good. I have to relog. Oh, actually, I am wrong. I can see. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can see a panel right here. What is this? Is this new standard? Oh no. Okay, so the button is right here. Now, I don't have to lock myself in here, but but this looks very, very bad. I don't think this is uh, up to standard right here. Okay, we'll check the interior panel as well really quick. So these are the panels here, and obviously you can switch to different lightings, I think. Right here. Okay, and these are the interior panels and why are these doors are open they should be closed so I'm gonna close all of them yeah these panel looks really good wait did I just close them okay yeah I what what is going on Whoa! They... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think the ship AI is malfunctioning. It just keep opening and closing. I'm not even pushing the button right now. Yeah, definitely like a, one of those movies. The uh, ship AI is malfunctioning. Uh-oh, this is the ghost ship. Okay, we'll check inside here. What? Even the components door is opening on it, its own. I'm not even doing anything. Yeah, see? It's opening on its own. Uh, oh, this one closed. Yeah, we got a malfunctioning ship AI. It just keep opening and closing stuff. Wow. Alright, let's check these panels. These panels looks nice. So these panels looks nice and you should have different lightings. You can even lock this door right here. Very nice. Close the door. Unlock it and don't think people can open from the outside and you have different lightings. Oh, I like it. This is ambient light. Very nice. Oh, you also have uh, some options right here. The drawers you can open now. Oh, I don't know if this was here before. But if not, this is something new. On the 400i, you can uh, open and close these drawers. And this is the storage area right here. Open, loot. You can loot? Ah, okay, external. There's nothing inside. So, oh, the, I think these are the weapon loadout on my body magazine. I don't have anything yet. Swap view. Oh, the, this is something new. It looks really nice. The armor. Swap view. Ah, cool. Uh, let's see. Open. Oh, now I can open this... Uh, external storage if I put an armor inside here and if I click loot oh, there's one I can actually put oh I just swapped my armor with uh, the other undersuit now I have a weapon loadout one two magazine Ooh, consumables pretty cool all right, this is just something something new. Okay, let's keep checking these panels. These buttons. Yeah, I think these are these panels are really good, and uh, you can switch to different light. So here, emergency override. Ah, three different lights. Auxiliary light. That's what the name, the official name for these lights, and this is just. Uh, light three different options 
Okay. Yeah, that's about the uh, panels on the 400i, the internal and external panels. Call elevator. Call elevator. Where? I think this is the elevator, but where are the... Wait, something's not right right here. But where are the buttons? All right, let's just jump down right here and... Call elevator. Oh, I think the elevator's broken on the 400i. It's broken. Well, we'll check this one right here. Cargo bay elevator. Okay, so this one works. Oh, so this is a uh, external cargo bay panel, elevator panel. Right here, open and close. Okay, so that's not bad. Oh, server error. Please wait. Let me check. Okay, that's what happened. Replication layer enabled. True. So right now we are, well, I guess this is a server problem right now. Replication layer is enabled in this server. So server error, please wait. I guess we are testing also the replication layer as well. So I will patiently wait. Whoa. Okay. So five minutes. We are back. Very nice. Server recovered. All right. The next ship is the Gatic Sulin. I think the Gatic Sulin the buttons are really good from when from the beginning. I think this is the Gold Standard ship. So, and you also have these uh, three little small buttons. You can change to different lightings. Okay, let's go check the next level. And you have some buttons in here as well. Inside this button, you can also switch to different lighting. You have three options as well. And I don't see any other changes for the ship, for the panels. Wait. What? The elevator just left me. Where is the elevator? I think it's up there. What? Yeah, the, oh. It's back down, so let's go to the cockpit. Uh. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, I was outside the ship. Whoa, that's scary. Well, anyway, I don't see any changes for these uh, internal buttons. So let's... Whoa! Oh, you know, let's get out of the ship. Kind of scary. Yeah, both external and internal elevator panels. I don't see any changes for the Sulin. I don't know what the patch note is talking about at all. If you know, please leave in the comments below. See what's changed. All right, the next ship is the Miss Call C. This is a pretty big ship. Let's check the external elevator panels. One is right here. Yeah, this looks nice. I think this is it. I don't think there is another one in the back so just this one in the front this is the only entrance to the hall c except of course through eva so on the ground this is the only entrance through here uh, we'll check the internal panel as well so yeah this panel looks really nice and clean okay so you have an airlock panel right here as well you also have these uh Suit lockers, weapon locker, this panel, this button for weapons locker, it's not working. It's not working, this uh, weapon locker button. Obviously, you have uh, different lighting options right here. Yeah, emergency lights, very nice. 
And these panels look very nice and clean. I like it. You also have uh, different uh, lighting options. You can even lock this uh, bridge door right here. You locked it. If there is an enemy breaching inside the store, you can look at each other. But he can't open the store. Yeah, these panel looks really nice and clean. I don't see much difference though. Okay, last ship is the Anvil Carrick. This ship I use a lot, so I'm very familiar with it. There is only one external panel. Okay. So we'll check this elevator in a closed door. Really nice. You can you can see now open or close. I guess this is what it says uh, up to standard, like this. And right here you have a raised ramp. You have a panel right here. Let's check the two major elevator right here. So this is the elevator we use most, and it's often bugged. So let's check this. Yeah, these are the same. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. Elevator right here. And let's check the central elevator right here. Call elevator. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, pretty good. Alright, so this is it for the external elevator panels for these four ships. I think the Carrick and the Halsey, they're really good. Looks very nice and clean. The Sulin, I don't see much difference. And the 400i need some work especially the garage areas and these elevator inside elevators need some work yeah this is not a big feature but i just want to check it out just get this one out of the way and then i can move on to the more important features of uh, 3.23 so thanks guys for watching i will see you in the next one